The first place that I want to minister to is Ifeshuku. Ifeshuku, uh, the Lord is giving you a badge of honor. And I just see that badge that He puts on you. And He says to you, good and faithful servant. I see how you, through this year, went through probably three major tests. And how you passed them. And how you, like one of those athletes that can run really fast. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm helping you to accelerate. And even from 2024 to 2025, you're going to see an accelerate. Uh, or acceleration of the amount of anointing of God that flows through you. God bless you, Ifeshuku. Amen. God bless you, Ifeshuku. God loves you. This next word is for Celeste. Celeste, the Lord loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord is singing songs of healing over your life. And I just saw how, how the Lord is actually training you to sing. It was like you were singing this one way, but then the Lord took you in His presence and He taught you how to worship um, and, and, how, and what songs to sing and what prayers to pray, especially for this month in 2025. And I, I really feel that the Lord says that I, I'm I've made you, you know, you know when there's a lot of pressure and then that's how diamonds are made through pressure and I just feel the Lord says that with this world it's going to be a lot of pr uh, pressure but through me there's, there's, um, we are a new creation through God so I just see how the Lord just pulls you into his love and how he takes off the, 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 the things that are wearing you down and he's giving you so much um, transformation and love in this time. God loves you, God bless you. My next one is for Ellis, my Bwita Ellis, my I saw like a, a, a pine plantation of the, the pine trees and then I saw like all the pine trees were like very very tall, very very old trees and I saw like how a, a what do you call it, a wood, somebody that cuts off the tree, uh, he a, lumber a, lumber jack. a lumberjack comes and he cuts all the trees off but then I see like there's no new trees being plant, planted for like a new season to replace the old trees that's being uh, cut off. So I really feel like it's like a whole process, like a, a pine plantation. When the big trees are being taken away, the new, it should be replaced with new things. So I really feel like the old is being taken away, but new things should be added to, your, to the process. Be blessed. Thank you, Christine. Yes. Oh, Lesma, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is from Mareka. Mareka, <laughs> the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw renewal, uh, a season for newness. It's like a New Year's resolution where you, um, most of the time people don't do it, but get one thing and start in this festive season. One thing that you really want to do, because there is one thing. And then you start to do it. Don't wait for New Year to implement it. Say, this is what I want to do. If it's just one thing, take one thing, work through it, keep on with it, because you'll see it will stick, it will stay. Uh, but don't try 20 things at once. Try one thing, and then I just see it is your season for a renewal in your life. Be blessed. Amen, Mareka. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for uh, Christine. I just want to let you know we are recording, so don't stress. Um, Christine, what the, the Lord shows me is this, this cloud and how it is very, very heavy and it's like a, a, a thunder cloud. I, I don't know the names of cloud, but, but it's very, very, very heavy. And I just see how, how you're looking at this cloud and you're not sure where it's blowing and, and you're not sure is it going to fall where you are, is it going to fall where, where, um, or wherever it's going. But I hear the Lord saying, Trust, trust in me. Don't, don't, don't trust in in what you in what you see. Trust in, trust in faith, knowing that that the rain will come, that the that his that the that the glory of God, that the provision of the Lord will fall on you. Um, don't uh, walk in faith and not by sight. That's yes. Be blessed. Hey, Christine. Uh, God bless you. Okay, Malky. Uh, the Lord is showing to me that there's other people in your life that might decisions that had a profound impact on your life and I felt that the Lord says I have a call upon your life to be a leader uh, to be someone that discern to that interpret dreams hear God's voice and I felt that God is saying do not worry about those decisions the Lord will make everything work out for your good and the Lord will promote you and you will bless you where you are you do not have to fear I felt I made a wrong decision, I'm in the wrong spot. The Lord says, my hand is upon you and I will bless you. God bless you, Malki. Amen. God bless you, Malki. God loves you. This next word is for Heidi. Heidi, well, pray for you. I saw the picture of, um, you know, when the, 
Israelites were the, the children of God were walking around Jericho and they had to be obedient and they didn't they were supposed to be quiet they weren't supposed to say anything and then on the seventh day then they blew the um, shofars and they shouted and I just feel the Lord says um, walk in my wisdom um, obedience is going to lead to victory and even though it feels like you're a bit alone here and it's a bit odd why aren't I saying something I just feel the Lord says be still and know that I'm with you and I I just feel the Lord says um, now's the time to be quiet and now's the time to just keep on praying and, and, and dwelling um, within my presence and I really feel the Lord says when you shout it's going to be like you are so ready and you're going to have so much you know you, you must have so much air to give that sound and project the sound of, of God when he says um, shout so I just feel the Lord says um, be quiet and keep on walking you're almost there God loves you God bless you our next was, word is for Bernice. Bernice, I saw how you're sitting with a Bible and you started to read the Bible. But I saw like how it's like the scriptures start to come alive. And when the scriptures start to come alive, it's like they start to float around you. And I feel like how they like entering into you. And I feel like how your spirit is starting to come alive. And I feel like there's like pieces of your body, pieces of your of your life that's like pieces of with holes in it and i see how the word of god comes and it penetrates that holes it makes that holes full and i really feel like our god shows me that but while reading the bible while spending time in his presence how god just shows me restoration happens be blessed thank you bernice for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for diana diana the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a, like a garage door that rolls up and I just see how there's light, massive light, beautiful light all over like a, a light chair right in front of your face. And I just see how the Lord says, step into my glory and I want to reveal myself to you. I want to show you what I can do in your life. And then I say, then I see how you say, yes, Lord, I trust you. I rely on you. And when you do that, it's just like a newness of life that flows into you. So that when you stand, it's not just you that stand, but it's the new you that stand with God. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Christina de Toy. The Lord shows me, um, I hear the words, keep digging. Um, don't, don't stop. Um, I, I see how when you're like people are digging for gold, that... that People are like, no, you, you should give up. You've been digging so long, there's nothing there. But I hear the Lord saying, keep pressing in because He's going to reveal something to you. There is something amazing, but in, 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 and, I see, and I see that there is, it's taking like a lot of strength, a lot of work, but I see how you will be greatly rewarded. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, I, I can't say that name, sorry. Uh, Regine. 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 Okay, awesome. Uh, it's a lady, eh? Okay, not sure. So. Okay. All right. Awesome. Christina, uh, God bless you. Uh, so they got the screen over to the So I don't see that far, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, although it's quite big, but I, I still don't see it. Um, all right. So I want to ask. I see there's quite a few people that has really serious pre-requests. All right. So we love each other on unity with heaven. And so it's important that we pray for one another. I want to challenge you. Quickly go and look in the comments and see what which are those prayer requests. And while you wait and you listen to the words that are shared, just go and pray for that people. If the Lord shows you something in the comments, just write a feedback to that person and tell them what you feel God is saying. In that way, we can build each other up and it's also an opportunity for us to minister to one another. I also want to say, um, uh, we are recording this video. I will post it tomorrow on our internet connection and on our YouTube recording it writes the excellent connection so if there's not a good connection it's uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's off the YouTube we've got we got very good internet and also the YouTube uh, rec um, panel tells us there is a good connection so I don't understand why the sound is not always good we are trying to make it as good as we can uh, but I am recording it and I'm gonna give a clean or post a clean recording tomorrow morning okay so let me go now, Regine. Okay, so Regine, uh, I see how the blood of Jesus covers you tonight. And how he's cutting off the old things off of your life. And even the, uh, the open doors of the enemy and the curses that the enemy wants to bring against your life. I see how the Lord breaks it. And the Lord says, you will be successful. I will bless you. And I will not allow 
that curses to come against your life. Uh, I am calling you uh, my child and I will cause you to prosper and to be healthy uh, and to possess the, the territory that the Lord has for you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Eugene. God loves you so much. This next word is for Petronella. Petronella, it's so nice to see you. God <coughs> loves you. Well, I'll pray for you. I saw the color pink and I saw these beautiful pink cosmos flowers and they're stunning, but they're also very strong flowers and they can, they can be in the sun. And I just feel how the Lord says that I've called you to really be like a beautiful cosmos that is strong in the sun, but it's very vibrant. And I I just feel the Lord says that keep on, don't, um, I just feel the Lord says keep on shining for me and keep on being you. And then I feel how the Lord says to you, um, for it, it was like 2024, you had like a, a bucket full of, um, diamonds and pearls and then it was kind of like um there were some knocks that happened and then there's holes in the buckets and now you come to the end of the year and you feel like you have nothing and i just saw how god um not only gives you those pearls and diamonds back um but he also restores the whole bucket and i just feel the lord says this is time for restoration and it's even even bigger bucket so you can receive more and i just feel the lord says that when you come into 2025 you're going to have new wine and like a new wine um, cup to receive it. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Shandesha. Shandesha, what I saw, I saw lots of oil. I saw how you like dripping of oil, how the oil starts to run from your body. And I just feel like how God shows me that the anointing is flowing from you. Um, I see like how God shows me that with the oil on you, how you start to get hot, how you, you start to get on fire. And God just shows me how He's like starting to activate you in different spiritual gifts. I see like how God shows me that how He's giving you dreams, but He's not just giving you dreams. He's giving you the ability to inter interpret those dreams, to know um, what He's speaking to you, and to know just what the Spirit is telling you. And I also saw like how God shows me that your hands are on fire as well. So I feel like you've got healing hands as well. So I really see like our God shows me that He's taking you out of the, it's like you were hidden and He's taking you out into the open and I really feel like our God shows me how it's time to start operating in your gifts. Be blessed. Thank you Shandesha for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Lydia. Lydia, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. He really loves you tremendously and you need to know that. I just see a refresh, renewal, a restoring in your midst. I see where, where trust sometimes was challenged. I see how there's a restoration process taking place in relationships. And just trust the Lord. Follow His instructions. Because I see you're not sure what to do. Uh, but the best is go to the Lord and ask Him and be honest with Him. And say, Lord, this is, this is how I feel. What can I do? What is the right thing to do? And then I see how the Lord gives you advice where it's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's just how you're going to restore it. How you're going to... Uh, fix what is broken and I just see that um, yeah it's like a ladder that is broken and you fix it so that you've got access again to what was lost be blessed amen this next word is for Shannon uh, um, I hear the Lord saying ask and I will give you wisdom come to me and I and I will give you what what you what you are lacking come to the Lord and, and, and that wisdom that he wants to give you is really wisdom for, for knowing should I, should I take this opportunity or should I leave it? Um, and I hear the Lord saying that, that, that with this particular you need, you need his wisdom and, and also you need his approval. And I hear the Lord saying that he will lead you where you need to be. You do not need to fear. But he still wants you to come to him and ask him and he will counsel you. Be blessed. Hey. Awesome. Um, thank you very much, Shannon. Uh, God bless you. Uh, he is giving you wisdom. Um, so Solomon, uh, the Lord is showing to me the latter rain in your life. And as, as if the former rain didn't come, uh, but you also didn't plant because you didn't have faith and expectation. But the Lord says, now I want you to have a faith and expectation because I will bless you and I will open up doors for you, both for ministry and for healing for your family and to help you with your finances. And so the Lord says, now is the time to declare the word of God, to stand in faith and to act in faith and obey me and trust me so that you plant that seed so they will grow. And the Lord says, I'm sending the latter rain. I'm opening up my heavens over your life. God bless you. 
And may God bless you, Solomon. God loves you. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda, while praying for you, I saw an, um, an orchard of trees. And I just, you know, um, there's a lot of... So there's, there's in each season, um, there, there are different um, um, fruits and vegetables that come. And I just feel God is really giving you wisdom and just saying, don't be discouraged if this, um, if this plant doesn't flourish in that season like it did in the last one. And I just feel the Lord says that he is going to supply open doors that you will never um, have lack. And I just feel the Lord says there's different seasons in your life. And I just feel God is taking you into a season of bravery and in trusting him and how God is giving you su such supernatural joy in this time and I just saw how God is giving you like the shield of faith and I just feel the Lord says I'm covering you in this time God loves you so much Amanda and I really feel God is going to um, always supply into your life but he's giving you wisdom of um, where to go and what is in season I really hope this word makes sense God loves you God bless you and I said for Dawn Stewart Dawn, I, I saw like, you know when you take herbs or you take leaves or you take spices, sometimes you have to like crush it and bruise it and wrap it together for, for the fragrance and the aroma to come out. And I really feel like our God is saying, this is your season. You, ha you have to go like a bruising and a crushing and a like rubbing. You have to go like through difficult things for, for your fragrance, for your aroma to, to shine through. But I really feel like this is not a bad thing because herbs gives lots of flavor mm -hmm. and, and spices give lots of flavor. So it's really valuable to us to use it. So I really feel like you have to embrace the season that you're going through because I feel like how goodness is going to come out of this. Be blessed. Thank you, Dawn, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is for Caroline. Caroline, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a chain, and the chain is under very, uh, uh, very much strain. And I see it's as if the chain stretch. But the Lord says, don't worry, the chain is secure. I see how the, the chain has been tempered. It has gone through what it's supposed to. The preparation was fine. And now that you need the strength of the chain, it is there. So I feel the chain is your family, even though you feel you like going through strain. They'll, they can handle it. They will all do their part. They will do what they're supposed to do. Uh, and they're not going to crack. They're not going to break because, uh, like I say, you, you went through a lot together and that made you very strong. Be blessed. Uh, Evan Caroline, please leave us a comment. The next word is for Kathleen. Um, it is finished. I hear the, the Lord saying, it is finished. It is done. It is, you do not need to, 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 to fight as, I, feel, I see how like you are fighting. And the Lord saying, you are fighting for something that you already have. He has given it to you. You don't need to, to strive so much to achieve this thing that the Lord has already given to you. Um, and I, and I hear the Lord saying that he, he, he has so much love for you and that you don't need to fear. All you need to do is be yoked with Him and rest in Him and in His counsel and in His, um, and in, in, in his covering. Be blessed. Okay, okay awesome. Uh, I just want to, before we continue to Peter, I just want to make a declaration over Sapna that the Lord will give you a job, an employment, uh, Ella, that the Lord will just... Uh, give you a breakthrough in your yes. medical emergency that yes. you're experiencing and that the Lord will cover you with his blood so that you will send the right people uh, to help you okay, so for Ingrid I just felt the Lord is putting the crown of joy upon you and he is going to uplift you up and he's going to use you to encourage others in the season and then uh, Heidi I just felt that the Lord is releasing his wisdom upon your life uh, and that's actually a word for all of us to receive the wisdom of God and this is a season where we want to wear our crown of joy and we want to um, um, carry the wisdom of God on us uh, James chapter 1 6 it says when you need wisdom ask God so the Lord gives wisdom all right so I want to minister to Peter Peter uh, the Lord is showing to me uh, that uh, the month of December is not a, a month of slumber and of rest uh, but this is actually a month uh, of growth in a month, especially in the area of finances and business, to build relationships and to build connections and to phone people up to go and maybe have breakfast with them and just to make that connections firm uh, for the blessing of God to flow, especially in the area of your finances. 
God, God bless you, Peter. Hey, Amen. God bless you, Peter. God loves you. This next word is for Angelica. Um, Angelica, God loves you so much. And while praying for you, the picture God showed me was this beautiful house, and you painted it, you made it stunning. But um, it, it's done, and and it's like you're thinking to yourself, um, this is what I know, this is what I do. I'm gonna somewhere like repaint this house, but I just feel the Lord says no. You've already painted it. It's beautiful. I'm taking you. I'm giving you this brand new house, and now it's like this. It, it looks like a barn house, and it, it needs a lot of work. And I just feel the Lord says that I'm going to place you into a new area where you're going to make beautiful. You, I really feel you have an anointing to make places beautiful um, in your ministry, in your business. It's just just a gift God has given you and I just feel the Lord says this time it's a lot more in the spirit so I really want to encourage you have communion speak life and I just see how you like worship in those places and you just speak the life of God there so I just feel the Lord says to you that um, I'm with you I'm giving you the tools and the people and the support and I'm pouring out my love to you God loves you so much God bless you our next word is for Hannah Joy Mines. I just heard how God says wisdom and maturity. Mm. Then I also heard God saying that you've got a firm foundation. But then I heard how God says that He wants you to go out and be a teacher to many people. I see like how God shows me that He's anointing you to teach other people to be standing firm in their foundation as well and to just. Uh, experience the love and the joy and the light of God that's inside of you so that you can give that to them as well I see like how God shows me that how platforms go open for you where you start to like minister to people where you start to like just spread the word of God that God has placed inside of you the wisdom that you've got the revelations that you've got I just see like how God shows me how you are starting to use you even more and more and more be blessed Thank you, Hannah, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Dale. Dale, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you writing tests or exams, and you're sitting and you're concerned. And I just see how the Lord says, you do your, your part, I do my part. And I see how the Lord has created a way for you where uh, you access your memory, but then suddenly it's bigger and bigger and bigger, and how the Lord helps you to increase and enlarge what you have. So even though it may feel challenging right now, just work with the Lord, just go through it, just do what you have to do. You'll see it will all work out for you. Be blessed. Amen, Dave. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Shia. The Lord shows me this beautiful um, like river pond and I hear the Lord saying, jump in, come and jump into my river, come in and, and, and have fun in my river and, and cry in my river. And I, and, and I hear the Lord saying, move your house into my river the lord is calling you to to dwell in his overflowing love in his overflow just in in every place in your life he wants you to to dwell there and and i hear the lord saying that that your eyes will be open that your ears will be open and that your heart will be ready to receive what he wants to show you in the river be blessed hey awesome uh, god bless you shia uh, god loves you very very much uh, i i see that um so far being blown over your life, uh, the, the blood of Jesus, uh, God bless you. Uh, so family, um, uh, uh, we all minister tonight to all the names that's on the list. I think we are at like number 38. Uh, if there's more names than 40, I'll put it on the list and I'll also minister to, uh, to those people in the coming days. All right. So uh, Angeline, uh, the Lord is showing to me uh, a candle uh, or a, a lamp. Uh, that's full of oil and the Lord is lighting it up and the Lord is putting his Holy Spirit and his fire uh, in your life and I see how you burn with love for him and how he's your first love and because of that how the glory and the blessing of God is just pouring out on your life uh, and I and I remember there was someone in the comments that asked how do I step into the glory of God and I felt the Lord is saying uh, daughter you are gonna step into the glory of God you are going to allow that gate in, on the inside of you to open up for God's river to flow out of you. And the, and the key to stepping into the glory is to be in love with Jesus. That's, that's our key. Because remember, Jesus is our door into the realm of the Spirit. And so, but uh, the, the way to step into Him is to love Him. 
God bless you, Angeline. Hey, Amen. God bless you, Angeline. God loves you. This next word is for Caitlin. Caitlin, I just feel the Lord says that He is comforting you and giving you so much peace right now. Um, the picture God showed me for you is you you just like got out of a storm and it and you were soaking wet and you were wearing a, a, he, a jacket, but it was very very heavy. And I just saw how God just gave you new clothes and He just lifted you up and He took off all those burdens off of you. And the Lord says that's with me um i you know when, when there's like a flood people go to the high ground and i just feel the lord is like taking you up to the high ground because you have like this fear what if it's going to happen again and i just feel the lord says, i'm placing you on my rock and i'm giving you peace and comfort in this time and the lord is calling you to be a voice to encourage people also to come on the rock and all these areas in your life that you feel like is shaky um maybe with business or finances or family and friends i just feel the lord says i'm taking all those sandy areas Areas of your life and I'm placing it on the rock you on the rock God loves you so much God bless you Caitlin our next word is for Seema Seema uh, the picture that I saw for you I once saw like a video how like how maple maple syrup is like harvested or got from a tree but I'm not 100% sure of the process but I think if I remember right it's like to drill a hole and they put like a tap into the tree but it's not like immediately the syrup starts to flow out it's like it's a certain time that the syrup starts to flow out and it takes time for the syrup the tree syrup to come out and i really feel like our god is saying for your sweetness for your for your valuable things to come out it takes time so and it's not gonna happen like immediately sometimes it, it's a process that has to happen but I really feel like that when you tap into the Word of God, when you tap into the Spirit of God, how that sweetness will be, will start to flow eventually. Be blessed. Thank you, Sima, for being here tonight. Please remember, write to say comment. The next word is for Arthur. Arthur, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Look unto the Lord. Look at Him. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Don't do things that is not in the plan and the will of God for your life. I see there's... Uh, there's thoughts that come up for you to do uh, other things uh, but I just see how the Lord says the process and the path that I am that I have you on it, it will work for you so don't think that you have to try something else try something different pray and ask the Lord for strategy so that you can see and that your plans can be aligned with God's plans and when you're in in agreement I just see how it is easier to flow with the Lord because understanding will be part of the process. Be blessed. Amen. The next word is for Sapna. The Lord shows me how chains are being are being broken, and I hear the I hear the Lord saying that He will renew your strength. The Lord shows me how He is like healing you, like His word is medicine to you. It is it is truly healing you from the inside out. The Lord shows me how He is shifting your mindset, which is at the end of the day is also going to to heal you because you are going to th start thinking more positively. The Lord says, I want you to start thinking more positive positively. I want you to choose light. I want you to choose joy and just see how how your situation just starts to change because you decide to live in the light and the love of the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, Arthur uh, and Sapna, God bless you. Okay, so next word is for Goldie. Um, the Lord is showing to me how he sets you on a firm foundation and how you stand firm and how you push back and you regain the territory that you have given up to the Lord. It's as if the Lord says, now is the time to stand and you let it go a little bit. But now the Lord is coming with you. He's putting His angels around you. He's even putting people that support and love you next to you and around you. And you push forward and you overcome the pressure that the enemy has given to you until you back into, into that place of overcoming and um, retrieving the, the land that God has given to you. Um, and so uh, just like the Lord said to David, you know, David asked, should I go into battle against the Philistines? And the Lord says, go, I, I will give the enemy over into your hands. I feel the Lord is saying to you that you will overcome. God bless you. 
and may God bless you, Goldie. God loves you. This next word is for Amanda. The Lord says, I will bless, I'm going to bless your days and I'm going to bless your nights um, when you will always be with me. And I just feel how the Lord says, uh, my daughter, I am calling you into the secret place. The enemy is trying to, t is trying to distract you and, and for you not to be in that secret place of God. But I just feel the Lord says, um, spend time with me. And I just see how you, you spend time with God in the sunrises, during the sunsets. And I just feel there's so much joy and peace that God is um, pouring into your life. So I really want to encourage you. This is a time in your life to come into the secret place of God to receive a supernatural joy and peace. And then, you know, um, every, we're like in the festive season. And I'm, I'm thinking about the time when the angels um, sang and rejoiced when Jesus was born. And I just feel there's a lot of um, rejoicing and singing God is placing into your heart. Um, God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Marika Bota. Marika, I got Isaiah 43 verse 19 to 21. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I really feel like our God is saying this is the season to have faith and to trust in Him because I really feel like our God is showing me that He's going to open doors for you. He's going to make a way for you. And I really feel like our God is saying, just make your needs known and I will give to you whatever you need. I really see like our God shows me how he like, like a, a small child, God comes and he like picks you up and he embraces you and he comforts you. And he, I feel like our God is saying, just take heed. I am there for you, my child. I will, I will help you wherever you need help. Be blessed. Thank you, Marika, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Winsome. Winsome, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a, a, a process that you went through and it just established you. It gave you understanding. It connected you deeper and deeper with the Lord. But I see how you need to grab hold both arms. It is as if you are hanging on by one hand. And I just see how the Lord says, grab it with both, both hands. He's giving you a vision and you, may, you must make a decision to say, yes, Lord, I'm going to go fully for this. If you're going to go halfway or you're just gonna do it on the sideline it's not gonna work make a commitment pray about it if you have to fast about it to get clarity so that you can just hear what is the will of God for your life and I see I just see you need to grab it with both hands be blessed Amen the same word is for Tasia May uh, the Lord shows me um, how he's giving you these glasses to to really see in the spirit and to see clearly the Lord shows me how He's anointing your mouth to to give what you have what you have seen, and I really see, excuse me, how you have such an important role in the body of Christ, and do not underestimate yourself. Um, the Lord loves you so much. He has given you so much strength and so much authority. I hear the Lord saying, "Use your authority. Use the authority that I have placed inside of you, and and where I have given you dominion." And I really uh, see how the Lord has given you dominion, especially like over like your area to pray and intercede and and, and to fast. And and the Lord shows me how He's just bringing re um, revival to where you live. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Tasha and I, God bless you, uh, family. Uh, we we made our list of 40 people. And there's already two names, more than 40. So if you write your name on the comments, uh, I will schedule you. So I already have 10 names for tomorrow. And I think I got a few for Wednesday. So all the names that come on now will either come on Wednesday or on Thursday. I'll just put you on the list and I'll minister to you. I really actually appreciate when you guys write your names in the comments because I want to be, be obedient to God to minister to 10 people every day and sometimes I barely make it so I'm always glad when someone writes their name on the list okay so uh, Tony uh, the Lord is uh, putting the puzzle together and, and I see you saw you were building a puzzle but there's one or two pieces you can't find the pieces you look through the box you look through all the pieces but then uh, as you keep on building you see the other two were upside down in the wrong direction and so then when you flip them then they fit and I felt that the Lord is saying to you I'm giving you wisdom I'm giving you the right people I'm giving you the right opportunities and the right mindset and you will overcome and and uh, I heard something interesting uh, this weekend uh, where a guy he was they were evaluating successful people and they were talking about that more than 80% of the people that were successful they didn't have a good strategy but they had the right attitude and less than 20% of the people actually had the best strategy 
uh, and then the other 80 or other group of people that didn't were not successful uh, a big percentage of them had their, their strategy but they didn't have the right attitude and so uh, I felt that the Lord says he, he has given you the strategy but now he's giving you the perseverance uh, and the strength uh, and the commitment uh, to overcome and the Lord says you will you will be blessed in business and be blessed in family God bless you Tony. I mean that's an amazing word I, I received that Tony that's such an awesome word God bless you God loves you all right this next word is for Benjamin Benjamin while praying for you the picture got me God showed me was this a businessman um, with a lot of questions and a lot of things going on and I see how this businessman just starts um, starts walking right and and how you and how you start walking and, and and then you that's how you go to work and then all of a sudden God starts talking to this person God God is talking to you and giving you all the answers all the solutions and it's like you go into the room and you start speaking with the wisdom and knowledge of God and all these problems are sorted and I just feel the Lord says that's what I'm doing Doing in your life I'm calling you to be a person with the answer the but I have the answer I'm going to use you to speak through me and I just feel the Lord says make yourself available and I really feel even like in a practical way go for walks and no earphones no music just listen to the voice of God and have conversations of God I feel like that's really going to change your life um, God loves you so much and I I really believe that you have have been called to be a builder of the kingdom of God and God is going to use you to be an inventor and full of creativity and answers and solutions God loves you God bless you Benjamin our uh, next is for Manuel Manuel I just see like how God shows me how you like spend intimate time with him where you like stay in prayer where you stay in worship where you just soak in god's presence and i feel like how god shows me that when you're in his presence how god shows me that how you're like being renewed how you're being revived i see like a lot of things like being falling a lot of things are being are falling falling off from you um things like shame like hurt like like things that, that, that the enemy places on you, things like feeling like you're a failure. I just see like how God comes and he takes that away. I see like how God shows me that every time something falls off, how God shows me that he places a light in that place, in that area. And I just see like how God shows me how he like pours like a bucket full of joy and, and peace and God's favor and God's goodness over you and I just feel like how God sh shows me that every time you come into his presence and you spend time with him how that will happen like how it will be intensified and, and that all of that things that's not supposed to be there how it will go away be blessed thank you Manuel for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Amma Amma the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of the TV antenna, the bunny ears that you get, and I just see how you shifted it around a lot and you, you battled to get good connection. And now I see the Lord says, you're connected to me. Now you need to download what the Lord gives to you, meaning you need to write it down. You need to take care of the revelations that the Lord gives you and you need to use it. It doesn't help you done the hard work to get connected, but now you don't do something with it. It's very important. Write it down what the Lord shows you. Uh, and revisit it go through it again and again and again and it's gonna be you're gonna receive more and more and more revelation when you stop to go over something that's when you're gonna stop to get a, re a revelation from it so I just feel how the Lord says there's a lot that's coming but you need to take care of the information is giving you be blessed Amen. The same word is for Joanna. The Lord, or Joanna, sorry. The the Lord shows me um, you on this beautiful white horse, and you are and you are riding, and I see how you have this beautiful long, long hair, and 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 you are just. And I hear the Lord saying that you are so so lovely and so beautiful. But I hear uh, the horse is like. When, when people see a horse, they're like, wow, look at that. And I hear the Lord saying that you are that you are made to to shine, that you are made to to stand out in the crowd, and. And that is a blessing that the Lord has given to you. But also, um, I hear the Lord saying that you are an example because people are looking looking at you. And I really see how you are leading people in, in a way that maybe you're not even talking to them. But they just see how, how, how you behave and how you, how you speak with the Lord or how you pray or how you worship or how you carry yourself in that beautiful faith. And I hear the Lord saying that He is so, so proud of you. And even times when it is hard, know that you can still come to come to him and he will refresh you and he will help you to to overflow again because i really see how there is a well inside of you be blessed 
Hey, awesome, Joanna. God bless you, uh, family. Here we we are. Uh, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 7 o'clock in the evening uh, and it was today a lot hotter it was like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit so it's so so hot here uh, but it's it's uh, a pleasure for us to minister uh, I see there's a few more people that put their names on the list uh, I will schedule them for Wednesday and Thursday um, if, if it goes over uh, the extra na names for Friday uh, we love ministering to you uh, it was such a pleasure. Um, I hope you can feel the love tonight and how the Lord is encouraging people and also releasing wisdom on people's lives. Uh, we love you very, very much. You must have a fantastic week. We look forward to see you on Friday. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.